everybody, I'm Robin Curian, and you are watching Run It With Robin. Today, I am giving you a sneak peek of a classic movie that has now turned into a Broadway musical. It's one of my favorite, and I hope it's yours too. So stay tuned because you're getting a sneak peek of A Bronx Tale, the musical. So I'm at the Broadway offices and I'm going to be interviewing Ariana DeBose, Bobby Conte Thornton, and Richard H. Blake. They are part of the cast of A Bronx Tale Musical. So come on, let's go. Guys, I am here with the woman that plays Jane in A Bronx Tale Musical, Ariana DeBose. Now this is so funny because do you remember we actually sat next to each other for the Roots series yeah, premiere? Yes, it was amazing. We, we had the best it. time. And it's so funny. And here you are playing Jane in such a classic movie. It's one of my favorite. And I heard that you actually auditioned via like tape, like you recorded. So how, what was your reaction when you were told that you got the part of Jane? I actually was like, are you kidding? <laughs> I'm, really? being, I'm being punked. <laughs> what do you see in yourself through Jane playing her? Oh, I think Jane and I are similar in the, in the ways that she doesn't really have a filter. Like, it sort of just comes out, you know? There's the, the first time you meet Jane, she's a little like, Clotro, what kind of a name is that? Right. You know what I mean? She's yeah. not thinking that, oh, maybe that was slightly offensive. She didn't mean it that way. And yeah. she's smiling as she says it. She's just like, oh, where, what kind of name is that? Where's it? Got it. I might be like Jane. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think there's a little bit of Jane in everybody, to be completely honest. Yeah. And here we have Bobby Conte Thornton. Congratulations. This is like your Broadway debut. And I mean, like, this is a Bronx Tale musical. This is huge. How does it feel like being chosen out of all these actors to play Clojure? It's surreal. Yeah. It's crazy when you're in a final callback and it's all of your heroes of theater and film just behind a table being like, okay, start from the top. How was the whole, you know, process like being directed by, you know, Robert De Niro and Jerry Zaks and, you know, Chaz is there. Like, how was the whole, how's that experience? I mean, Chaz being there was crazy because I'm playing him essentially. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's him opening up his life to me whenever we talk or whenever I go to the Bronx with him and have a day where you're actually sitting on his actual stoop and you're seeing the, the neighborhood and the community that he grew up so you have a tangible sense of so I have a tangible sense of what I'm talking about every night but he's still giving me distance like you said to say this is a this is the story in a different idiom it needs to exist in a different state or else why are we trying to um, yeah why are we trying to create something new or say are the stakes viable enough to say we can break out into song and it still seem authentic when you played Colosio, well, you're playing him. Did you ever contact Lilo Brancato at all, or has he seen the musical? Yeah, no, uh, he hasn't seen he hasn't seen the musical. I haven't talked to him. Um, but you know, it, it is a very you know, it, it's it hits hard, especially for Chaz, because it, it's in the same way Chaz was helping this kid, and in, in the way that he's helped me. And so that's what I go back to is that every day the lyrics I sing and the words I speak are reaffirmation to say, keep your feet on the ground. You have the talent already within you. Your only job is don't screw it up. All right, guys, I am here with Richard H. Blake, who plays Lorenzo. So. How does it feel playing a character that Robert De Niro played? Uh, you know, there's no pressure at all. Uh, no, I mean, it, it feels great. It's a, it's an, it's a great movie. It's a great role. Um, it's uh, an actual, uh, you know, real person. I'm playing Chaz Palminteri's father, Lorenzo. Uh, who so, really was a bus driver. Who really was a bus driver, who really did play saxophone. Uh, and, uh, you know, he was a great man, cared uh, deeply about his family. How do people receive the musical? Like, you've been, it's been on Broadway since December 1st, so, like, what's, what's the reception of it? That's been the thing, you know, we didn't really know that you have these, these, you know, big names behind it, and, and it was a movie that had, you know, a, a lot of success. And you I was a little nervous. I was like, oh my God, this movie's so good. I don't know, a musical, I don't know. That's the thing that so many people, even before we opened, you, you, I saw online, they're like, oh, Bronx Tale into a musical. Oh, they're gonna ruin it. Oh, they should never be making a musical, you know? And some people were like, oh yeah, it sounds great. 
now my wife does this constantly she's always checking to like see what people are saying about it you know after they see the show and there's so like everyone across the board people are like oh my gosh this is my favorite movie I was worried they were gonna ruin it it was amazing go see it right now this was the best best version of it yet you know and uh, and I mean the audience every night is a spring into their feet it's, it's it's really like we're like knock wood it's it's been it's it has absolutely been uh, uh, an awesome ride but but I mean I want to tell anyone who thinks that this shouldn't have been made into a musical because it's like a favorite movie of theirs that we you know I think we did it justice and I think you're gonna be happy you're gonna it's gonna really knock your socks off it's Chaz Palminteri guys this is sunny in, in the flesh I gotta tell you I love the movie how does it feel seeing it as a musical this is something you've been thinking about for a while. A long, long time. I'm very excited. I always wanted it to be a musical, and I'm so happy. I mean, the cast is great. An incredible cast. So uh, it's a great show. You makes you laugh, makes you cry, and it scares you. So it's a great. It's a fun evening at the theater.